Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be covering three NBA signings and released players uh, all in one. So, the first one we need to go over is James Johnson. So, due to the Pascal Siakam trade, the Indiana Pacers were over the roster limit. So, they had to release one player and they ended up releasing James Johnson, who is a 38-year-old veteran. Maybe not 38, something like that, veteran. Uh, who is known in the NBA as just a really tough guy, good locker room guy. So that's really the only reason he was on the team. I think he's only played like two games this year. But he was in Indiana last year too. They like him there. They released him, and then once he cleared waivers, since he was just on a minimum contract, they brought him back on a 10-day deal officially today. So James Johnson, one of the fan favorites in Indiana, is back and we'll see if he plays any more games this year. Next up, we have Pete Nance signing with the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers had to sign somebody to their roster due to being under the roster limit, if you did not know. If you have 14 players or less on your roster for more than two weeks, you need to sign somebody. Um, so the Cavaliers trying to stay as far away from the luxury tax as possible. They ended up signing Pete Nance, who is the brother of former Cavalier star Larry Nance Jr. And is the son of Cavaliers legend Larry Nance Sr. So Pete Nance, he's going to be kind of a fan favorite there. He has played one or two years for the Cleveland Charge, the Cavaliers G League uh, affiliate, after going undrafted out of North Carolina. I forgot the other school they played college at. Northwestern. It was Northwestern. He played four seasons at Northwestern before playing his super senior year at North Carolina. He is now signed with the Cavaliers after being in their G League team for a while. So he'll probably be a fan favorite just because of his name. Kind of like Bronny. But the last one, this is the more serious one. The Raptors, due to the Pascal Siakam trade as well, had to release one player. They released Christian Coloco who was going into his second year this year. He has not played a game all year, and it's not because he's bad. He was really good as a rookie in his limited playing time. He played probably 15 minutes a game, but he averaged like three points, two rebounds, and a block a game. He showed uh, a lot of potential as a good project big, who is a good rim runner, good finisher at the rim, all that stuff. But unfortunately, he has not played in a game this year because of a career-threatening blood clot issue. So the once he was released, the NBA put him on their, like, unable to play list. So he currently, unless he gets cleared, cannot sign an NBA contract. Uh, prayers up for him, though, because he was a really good energetic big when he was in Toronto. Uh, hopefully it's not another Chris Bosh situation and he'll be able to play eventually. Because he had some good potential. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.